Thank you all for coming out here today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the U.S. Army Women's Foundation networking session hosted by Booz Allen Hamilton. There we go. Uh, and as you know, this has been an amazing uh, opportunity to, for stakeholders from the corporate, uh, legislative, and academic worlds to collectively recognize the unique set of challenges facing our Army women and also to come together with you all and strategize on how to best capitalize on the strength of the individual skills and the sets that, uh, that they develop during their service. And we hope that you all have found this time very useful. Uh, now that we've had an opportunity to engage, uh, let's turn now to the... Where did he go? Oh, sorry. <laughs> The microphone works, doesn't work in either of my eyes. Uh, would you please join me in welcoming the president of the U.S. Army Women's Foundation, General Deanne McWilliams. General. First, I want to thank Mr. Harris for, uh, I called him a repeat offender, but he was with us last year and graciously agreed to come back. So thanks. Leon, you really add a lot. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Um, he pretty much summed up why we're here. We had a great panel session this morning, that part of our symposium, which we have filmed, uh, and we intend to put it on the web for our service women around the world uh, to uh, see if they can pick up some uh, of the wonderful things that came uh, from the panel this morning. My purpose this morning is to uh, again, thank Booz Allen Hamilton for not only providing the videography for this session and the previous session, uh, for hosting this, uh, and uh, Microsoft for their being the agent to carry that. So thank you very much to them. Uh, we talked a lot about employers and their interface with veterans this morning. And from the corporate world, I'd like to introduce from Booz Allen Hamilton, Nicole Funk, a senior vice president. Thank you very much. Um, I know my voice may not carry, so I trust the tall gentleman in the back to wave if you can. Got it? Good. Thank you very much. Well, I'm delighted to be with, here with you all today as we rec it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't? It's off. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're good. As we recognize the important accomplishments of women serving the U.S. Army and together envision their future, Booz Allen Hamilton is proud to be standing alongside the U.S. Army Women's Foundation as we join forces to openly collaborate to identify new ways of promoting and providing increased access to support services for our Army women. As the U.S. Army's Women's Foundation celebrates its fourth annual Women in Trans Transition Symposium, we recognize that each woman's Army experience is unique and that the opportunities she has today are vastly different than those who went before her. As the decades pass and roles in the women play in the Army become more complex and more involved, leadership recognizes it would take increased focus and dialogue, dialogue and continue reassessment to ensure that the support they needed to succeed was available. Booz Allen has maintained a deep and long commitment to the nation's military community that began with the dawn of World War II and continues today with the military health system, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and our many engagements with the Department of Defense and Armed Services. Multiple deployments, combat injuries, and the challenges of reintegration can have far-reaching effects not only on our troops, and their families, but on America's communities. As part of Booz Allen's expanding work with veterans and wounded warriors, the firm's Behavioral Health Trust, we have been hosting community summits around the country that are focused on highlighting those most pressing needs of our veterans unique to a particular community and engaging local tri-sector leaders to identify collaborative efforts to improve upon the systems and services currently in place for our veterans and their families. We are honored to work with approximately 80 organizations nationwide that support the U.S. Armed Services and their families in the area of recruiting and hiring, career transition and mentoring, client work, community support and engagement. We are proud to stand with those leaders today. I thank the U.S. Women's Foundation, the U.S. Army Women's Foundation, and I thank all of you for your contributions 
to participate in this important ongoing dialogue. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we want to welcome you to the welcome to the podium now. A, a tireless advocate for our service members uh, over a remarkable 36-year-long military career. Our next speaker served as the 31st Vice Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army and has the prestigious designation of Master Aviator, logging over 5,000 flight hours and raiding on 19 helicopters. In retirement, he's actively involved in supporting our military members and veterans by serving on the boards of numerous nonprofit foundations dedicated to improving the lives of our servicemen and women. And in addition to all that, he's just a hell of a good guy. <laughs> Would you please welcome General Richard A. Cook. I, too, am a repeat offender, uh, like Leon. I, the way they got me here again this year is they said Leon was going to be here to introduce me, and geez, you can't get any better than that. Uh, this is probably the best one you've had so far, and so my hat's off to your leadership, D. Uh, it's an honor to be with you today. Uh, we're all appreciative of the critical work that the uh, U.S. Army Women's Foundation does, uh, and we lend our support to the important legacy of uh, women who have donned the cloth of this nation. And I think it's wonderful, uh, these uh, events that you hold. It's my honor uh, to introduce the U.S. Army's Women's Foundation's 2012 Special Honoree. Uh, he is my personal hero, and uh, I would ask you all, when you leave here today, Google Senator Dan Inouye's uh, name and read more than what I can do today to fully justify uh, what a special patriot what a courageous individual and uh, what a statesman uh, we're, that we're honoring today. Um, he's a World War II combat veteran, uh, served with the 4-4 Deuce uh, Gopher Broke in uh, Italy and France. He's a Medal of Honor recipient, three times wounded during uh, the action where he was awarded the Medal of Honor uh, and still fought. Uh, and he used his first hand first-hand understanding of military service and service to this nation throughout his nine consecutive terms here in Washington, over 50-plus years, to advocate to enhance the quality of life for not only our servicemen and women, but also their families. Senator Nelly was the most, is the most senior member of the U.S. Senate and the so second longest-serving member in history. He was sworn in as the President Pro Tem in 2010. His role as the Chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee and the Senate Defense Appropriations Subcommittee uh, is where he's really made a mark for our military. Uh, in my time here in Washington, uh, Senator Inouye was the go-to guy if we had a problem and we needed more appropriated funds, whether it was for wounded soldiers, whether it was for better quality of life for our families, uh, equipment. Uh, we always knew if we could go in and make the case to the Senator uh, we could cash that check, and he was our go-to guy. Today, the U.S. Army's Women Foundation acknowledges the continuing efforts of Senator Dan Inouye. He actively fosters an open forum in which to discuss the issues facing our service members' families, and we pay special tribute to his ongoing commitment to championing the needs of our returning servicemen and women in his work in supporting an open and important dialogue surrounding the transition between military and civilian life. And so uh, the senator is voting, and that's really what we want him to do today, uh, because his vote carries a lot of weight. And he wanted to be here with us, uh, but he has sent on his behalf, uh, Mary Yoshioka, yes. right. from Hawaii. Please come on up here, Mary. And uh, she's a member of the senator's staff. I don't know really this, but uh, please uh, tell the senator we uh, we honor him today. We thank him for not only his service in uniform, but his 54 plus years of service uh, and still being a great American. And uh, we give on behalf of the uh, Women's Foundation. Thank you, sir. Uh, you want to say a few words? Uh, just on behalf of Senator Inouye, uh, thank you very much. He regrets he could not be here uh, to accept this tremendous honor. 
Um, but thank you again, and we apologize that it's once more. <laughs>